Hey, YouTubers, this is Jacques Gaines, and I'm here to talk to you about Illuminar Neo in 2023. You guys stay tuned. We're going to talk about the interface, how it works, and how it's a great AI photo editing tool for PC. Stay tuned. I want you guys to remember two things. One is that I am a Luminar affiliate. If you guys like this video and you like the software, go into the description and click the link. It'll support the page and keep everything going so I can share my wisdom about Luminar Neo. And secondly, I have a discount code for 10% off whatever you buy in your cart at Luminar. And you have to use the code Jacques10 and you'll get yourself a discount. So check it out, everybody. Now let's get into the software and what it's all about. Now, before I get into the details of showing you a bit of how Luminar Neo works, I just want to tell you guys that if you are a person in 2023, 2024, looking for an editing software, you can do AI editing on your phone. This is not the software for you and that's okay. But if you do want robust edits that are Photoshop like where you can really get into some real cool details and do some really, really, really cool stuff. This is probably one of the best PC AI photo editing solutions out there. I'm going to go across the interface just a tiny bit so you guys can get an idea of what it's all about. Remember also that if you are attached to Photoshop, you can still work in Photoshop and use Luminar Neo as a plugin. We're going to get into the standalone features of this software today, but I will be having videos where you can look at how it can be used as a plugin in Photoshop. So let's just take a look at the interface. Now, first of all, I want to introduce you to this right here, Luminar Neo at the top. When you do install, everything goes pretty well. It's pretty straightforward. You press a couple of buttons, follow the guide, and that's all you really have to do. You have your typical menus here. In Photoshop, you'd probably see all these menus at the top. In Luminar, they're behind the Luminar Neo logo. Don't forget that. You also have a thing here called layers, and I don't want you to confuse that with the type of layers you might have in Photoshop. Luminar Neo works a different way with layers. Luminar basically blends different things within your layer. And we'll get into that, and I'm going to show you guys how to play with layers later on. Over here, you have the catalog view. When you click on that, you get to see the photos that are in your library, which you can define right here. You can do quite a few things, quite a few sort of, I can say, light roomy things. So just to let you know that the catalog is right here and it's on the catalog button right here. Now let's go into the presets tab. Let's choose a picture to edit. Let's say we pick this picture right here. We double click. There you go. Now your picture is ready to edit and you're ready to go. Now, if you press presets, the AI within Luminar Neo analyzes the photo and says, well, this is what I think this photo is and this is how I think you should treat it. So at the top of your presets panel here, you already have suggested presets that work for this type of photo. So they first propose easy landscape collection. All you have to do is float your mouse over the image and you can see what sort of result you are gonna get. And they're pretty great. Now you have a part here called favorites, my presets and purchase. This is very, it's a personalized situation here. You're gonna find out later on that you can actually decide what edit you find is your favorite and you can click to it. So what you are getting out of the presets tab is instant gratification. You get a series of edits that brings you to a desired result. Okay, so let's go into the catalog tab and pick this picture right here of this man right there you go and let's click on the presets tab right here see what it wants to offer us obviously it sees the photo of a male in this photo and it goes to here and it offers you for this photo we think you should play with the monochrome presets the experimental and the close-ups let's click on close-ups for the hell of it now, if we look at that, they always give a little time to load. And once they're loaded, you can check them out and see what they look like. All you have to do is click on these, bring them in, bring those looks in, and you can see the different types of edit. You know, it's, it just does a great job. It really does. Really, really cool. You can also play with the slider here and decide how much of the photo you want to have that effect on. Let's click on that. So that's what the preset tab does. Now, before I end this video, I want to play with the individual edits. What happens if you want to edit a bit further? Uh, 
you don't have to abandon the AI because you can go into the edit tab and the edit tab has different AI based editing tools that are individual for each different aspect of the photo. Whereas the presets tab has one click, one slider button for the whole photo. So if you only want to deal with the light itself, you can work with Relight AI, Atmosphere AI. If you only want to work with the sky, you can say to yourself, you know what, I want to replace the sky and put a different sky in. You can by using the sky AI tool. So it allows you a certain level of complexity to your photos. And that's the difference between Luminar Neo and working on your phone on an AI photo editing software. I'm not banging those AI photo editing softwares on your phone because some of them are pretty darn incredible. But what Luminar Neo offers you is way, way more customizability to your shots. So if you're looking for just that little one click thing and you are only on your phone, Luminar Neo won't be the best place. But let's say you're a person who does do phone photography. You like to take your photos to the next level. You won't be able to take them to the next level on this one button AI photo editing software on your phone. It just won't work just because there's a, a certain amount of processing that has to happen. And if you want to make sure that you can customize and play uh, with what I like to call Photoshop-like edits, then it might be very, very interesting for you to go for Luminar Neo. You guys, that's all I have to say for today. We're going to get into some more stuff later on, but if you guys want to buy the software, remember to look in the description. Uh, Jacques10 is the discount code, and it will be given. You can just copy and paste it when you go and make your purchase. You guys... I love this software and I hope you enjoyed some of the videos I'm coming out with. I'm coming out with a whole series on this software. So make sure to like, share, subscribe, and don't forget everybody, keep on making something from nothing.